Okay. Uh, are you guys ready to roll? Yeah. Okay. Rolling eight cam. Yeah. Let's do it. Okay. Three, two, one. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Three, two, one. So we got the opportunity with this album to make an official music video. I mean, I've always wanted to do something gory and something sci-fi related, and my brother and my partner both do makeup effects. They were working on a production, and in that, they do a lot of head explosions. When my partner Narita came home, she uh, showed me some footage of heads exploding, and I immediately thought, like, that would be the perfect theme for our video if heads could explode because we're playing such extreme, brutal music. Yeah, we didn't sign up for the, oh. Wait. The gas comes in and the... Gas? <laughs> and the lab workers die and you see what's happening. You right. see them asphyxiate. You break the work. Triggers the shock so the shock collars actually explode. So basically it started with the idea of just, hey, these heads exploding look really cool. Can we do that? From there we needed to find, you know, a director and a crew that would make it actually happen and explain why our heads are exploding. So I found Rob through friends and contacted him and he seemed immediately stoked on the idea. And him and Mitch just started working on a story behind it right away. My name's Rob. Professionally I've been doing it like freelance and kind of independently for the last three years. I've been dabbling in video for five or yeah. six years. Let's let's just see let's just see how it comes in. So I come in on the eight seconds. Copy. So this video is an amalgamation of Cronenberg references, but then there's also a, a couple other films referenced throughout, including a couple different other music videos and a couple different Easter eggs. We also based some of the uh, characters on different cults and different cult documentaries that we watched. So it's a little bit of everything from sort of sci-fi to psychedelic religious stuff to cult stuff. The video itself is essentially several vignettes put together of each of the band members. As the video progresses, each member goes through a series of not super realistic, but hyper realistic tests. And as it progresses, the tests uh, get out of hand. Uh, there's different chemicals and experimentations uh, that they're subjected to, and then we're revealed to this villainous character that's interspersed in these narrative vignettes that add up with some of the more like cinematic sections of the song, and it all sort of gets revealed and interwoven into a big uh, bang. <laughs> you know, the initial idea was just how about everyone's head explodes. Then we looked into, you know, how much that would cost and would it actually make the video better, and we started looking at other ideas of like how we could each die, so we figured, okay, three of our heads could explode. Then we were like, oh, a face melt would be awesome. And then Spencer was like, what if I bleed out? For the head explosions in particular, uh, we had to all get head, our heads cast. And that's uh, a pretty strange experience that none of us had done before. Yeah, that was like the weirdest, uh, that's probably one of the weirdest experiences. Yeah. <laughs> so it's like one minute, it's like, okay, they're just a bunch of stuff on your face. And yeah. There's just a couple moments just where it gets a bit tight. <laughs> well, your skin is just glowing, oh, whatever thanks. they did. So to do that, we sort of had to DIY a lot of it. They rented the, a private garage. They were working on our heads at home. Uh, we casted at our house. Uh, we did a blow up tests in the park by our house. And yeah, they were just, they were sculpting here, they were painting here, hair punching, and just, you know, spending every spare hour they could just making it as, as awesome as they possibly could. I'm Aaron Peters. I'm uh, actually Ollie's brother, his taller, more handsome brother. We're just doing the makeup effects for the video. I do a lot of studio films and uh, TV shows, but yeah, more than I can count. I'm Nerida. I do special effects makeup. I've been doing it for about seven years. Moved to Canada for it. Haven't stopped since, really. 
I did some kind of basic effects when I lived in Australia, but when I moved here, like, it's much more in-depth effects. That's the skull in there. Yeah, that's like construction tape. Right? Yeah. We just put the tape on there, so certain areas we don't want stuff to stick to it. Yeah, you'll see the skull coming through once yeah. all the skin melts away. Yeah, there's like skin, uh, sort of meat, fat, layers, and veins, and then it, it ends at the skull, basically. I've wanted to do this since I was in high school, so... This is definitely where I've always wanted to be. I look at it like uh, arts and crafts for adults, or so like very specialized. We just get to play with a bunch of different materials every day, so. So I think for us, we've never uh, done a video with this kind of production before. It was a bit strange to see if it's all gonna, you know, come together on the final day of, of shooting. So we didn't really know what to expect, but we showed up and, you know, Rob and Mitch and Kathleen, the production designer, had everything set up. They had a full crew. The sets looked amazing. Uh, it was just a really cool thing to walk into and, and see the professionalism that they all work with, especially for such a ridiculous project like just us going fast. So Jared, now that you're strapped up to this table, mm. is this too reminiscent of a Friday night for you? Do you get any sort of gratification, sexual or otherwise, from this? Uh, <laughs> no comment. Just, mm. Yeah, I'd prefer no comment, That's actually. No comment. That's a big no comment. Is this your first Craigslist schedule? <laughs> <laughs> I had to do my shoot first, and uh, it was a lot of hanging upside down for a long time, and yelling upside down, which I've never done before, which was uh, pretty difficult and, and fun and challenging to do, for no particular reason. <laughs> Yeah, and it was really cool to see each member of the band, uh, you know, have to try to not necessarily act, but react to what was happening to them in the video, uh, as none of us are professional actors, clearly. <laughs> yeah, we were figuring out which song we wanted to release first as our single, and I think we all decided that Drum Corps Aviator was like maybe the most well-rounded song as far as like catchiness and, and you know, cool solos and a, a lot of cool parts in the song put together. So we wanted to initially release this first, but we felt like this would be the best song to do like a horror themed video for. I'm David, David Lang. I'm the janitor. I'm also, you know, just like the eye candy. Do you have any real life janitor experience? Uh, yeah, one time me and my buddy, uh, we dropped acid and cleaned the Crestbrook building in Cranbrook and uh, yeah, we did a terrible job. Do you think you're gonna do a terrible job today? Uh, no, I, I've been training for this my whole life. <laughs> <laughs> Our new album, Bleed the Future, is releasing on October 29th, right before Halloween. Get your spooky on. Check out that album.